Welcome to this video. Mitochondrial eval, population Y South America and modern humans. Introduction Geneticists have detected a very important human expansion that began at least 50 to 70 Kia. All or most of this expansion started from the Pacific Ocean including from the west coasts of the Americas and next westward until Africa, and expanded the DNA of the first Native Americans of the so-called Population Y, which is marked by M45, which is a mutation in the M3 marker of the original Amerindian Y-DNA haplogroup Q. This expansion is known as the Austronesian expansion. All other expansions, both ongoing and later, can be explained as further extensions of this Austronesian expansion, which I would prefer to call the ancient Amerindian Y expansion, amongst others because it expands rather globally Amerindian markers like M45 of population Y etc. M242, and its descendants, and this until the populating the entire world with modern humans. This means that almost all of today's modern humans carry native Amerindian DNA in native Amerindian markers and or descend from native Amerindian haplogroups, which fully proves that modern humans are descendants of native Amerindians who descended through this Austronesian expansion, and obviously directly or indirectly from the Amerindian origin or ancestor of all humans which I claim to be from what I will call the origin Amazon forest. This also explains some for consensus paradigmatic findings like the findings made by research that also includes research on ancient DNA and is published by David Reich, that includes the discovery that modern Northern European DNA clearly descends from Amerindian DNA. David Reich, 2022. Provisory Classification of Amerindians. I propose this classification and define original groups and mutated groups, simply because a classification that serves the context of this video was never done before by others, possibly because other authors do not directly claim that the Amerindians are the ancestors of all humans and consequently do not try to classify the Amerindians in such context. Observation, in the case of the male Amerindian, it was the mutation Amerindian or the male mutation, coming next, that populated the world, while the ancestor of all Amerindians and all humans remained or, had to, largely redraw back or refuge into a specific zone of the Amazon forest, which I will call the origin Amazon forest. Just like its inhabitants, the origin Amazon forest presents certain specific characteristics, and presenting ADE soils is one of them. Provisory classification of male Amerindians 1. Male ancestor with M3 marker, Y-DNA Q Amerindian, habitats the origin Amazon forest. This group is also called the origin Amerindian. 2. Male mutation with M45 etc. marker, Y-DNA-Q Amerindian, includes population Y, Y-DNA-Q M242, Y-DNA-R, and is less frequent in the origin Amazon forest. This group is also called the mutation Amerindian. Y-DNA-C, D, E, etc. are the result of other further mutations of Amerindian ancestor DNA, and are less frequent or absent in the origin Amazon forest. Mutations seem to be more clear or defining in the men part of the Amerindians, and that is one of the reasons why I use male DNA more frequently. Hypothesis 
obviously women are extremely essential for any population and able to cause stabilization of the genome or to fend off mutations coming from men, but less so in cases that recurrently introduced male hybrids or mutations get a lot of offspring have more access to the women which compensates for eventual lower numbers of the male hybrids. Provisory Classification of Female Amerindians Female Ancestor, mtDNA M. Amerindian, possibly D1 etc., was the female ancestor of all humans, certainly before the first mutations in mtDNA took place like for instance the mutations that led to L. Female mutation, mtDNAL, L3 from Asia minimum 70 Kia and L1 from the Americas minimum 130 minus 150 Kia, and M from the Americas and consequently Amerindian. mtDNA A, B, C, D and X could be mutations later than L. 1. Since mtDNA A, B, C, D and X mutations seem to be younger than 50 to 70 Kia, they all could be part or consequence of the Austronesian expansion. 2. Since mtDNA A, B, C, D and X mutations are Amerindian and seem to be older than 12,600 BP, I consider them a serious paradigm for consensus because they are supposed to be younger than the Beringia standstill release 12,600 BP. Neanderthals Neanderthals carried L3 long before mitochondrial Eve or African Eve did, and split from a group of modern humans long before mitochondrial Eve or African Eve or mtDNA L existed. In other words, the above modern humans obviously cannot be descendants of African Eve because she did not exist yet. Consensus is aware that L3 came from Asia 70 Kia, which is of course a serious paradigm for consensus. The Austronesian expansion just as L3 is estimated to be in the 50 to 70 Kia range or older. Consensus suggests that L3 went from Africa to Asia and then came back from Africa. Such extreme movements forward and backwards are highly improbable for several reasons, amongst many others. 1. Because migrating from Africa to Asia is highly improbable because currents and winds are unfavorable for navigation by boats and the distance and challenges were enormous if supposed to have been over land. I hypothesize mutations that mutated M into LX, just as in the case of the known mutation that mutated the original M3 into the hybrid M45. I hypothesize that mtDNA M reaches Africa as L3 around 70 Kia through the Austronesian expansion. Amerindian Partners Female ancestor, mtDNA M and LX, have at least initially and before the mutations on the male side exclusively male origin Q with the M3 marker Amerindian as partner. Presented is a map of female mtDNA M, because I could not find a frequency or heat map presenting mtDNA LX in the Americas or in the Amazon region. When male Q and CX are added up they present a positive association with female M, meaning they were probable partners, and a negative association with population Y, M45 mutation, meaning they were improbable partners. Thank you for watching. Bye.